Well, hello, everybody. Happy Friday. Well, I was out playing with this today and uh, playing with my plow over to Brian's house. And I went and got a load of dirt from Dennis's house when I kind of plowed around his mailbox. And I put that around by my addition out there to kind of fill in the low spots and from the stump grinding. But as you know, I like keeping things cool. And I've got the, this is here is for my hydraulic cooler. I put fans on it. They used to lay over the top of this. So I basically just bent it straight up. But I used to lay down over this and suck hot heat into a hot engine. And it was ridiculous. Now, the next thing is, I'm smelling oil from somewheres. I got a leak, I think, someplace underneath. I'm not sure where the hell it is. I don't know if it's between the engine where it separates or what's going on. But when I look in here, I'll show you. I don't know if I can see it or not with the camera, but let me turn the light on. What are we looking for? Yeah, if we look right down in there, I can't even point to it, but right down in that area over there, it looks like there may be an oil leak in there. I'm not sure, but I smell, I smell hot oil. Anyhow, I've been looking for an oil cooling kit for this thing. And I came up finally with a solution. Um, and I'm wicked happy about it. You have to buy an oil filter relocation kit from Jegs. It's $40.99. Shipping is 12 bucks, So you're looking around $57. And what it does is you unscrew your filter. This aluminum plate goes on. And it's got two holes in it for hydraulic lines or for now for oil lines to go out and in just like this just like that up there the jegs kit is it it fits um three quarter by 16 threads but it comes with two adapters a 13 16 by something and then a three quarter by 16 which this lawnmower takes so um, the Jugs kit number is 555-51715. And it is made for oil filters that are two and three quarter inch O-rings. So if you have an O-ring, and if you measure from outside of the O-ring to the outside of the other one, and it's for two and three quarters, you got it. Um, the next thing. So there's about 60 bucks. You get the adapter here. You get the two hoses that come up and a relocation kit. So you can put your oil filter wherever you want it, up here, wherever. You can make a plate and come off. Um, and then on eBay, and I'll throw pictures up at the end. eBay, you can get a 15-inch radiator or, you know, oil radiator and a fan, for 54 bucks or best offer. So I'm sure if you get off to the guy 50 bucks, he'd probably take it. So just a little over a hundred hours, you can put a cooling kit on your engine. Now this is a pressurized system like a car is. What's the oil pressure? I don't know, five to nine pounds, maybe something like that. So, and you're probably gonna have to add a little oil because now you gotta fill up pipes and you gotta fill up a radiator. So your oil filters, you know, the oil may take a little bit more. But I've been doing a lot of research on this because my hydraulic temperature I'm, is staying down around 100, 110 degrees lately. Um, my meters blew out, so I don't know. I know what it is now, so I don't need the meters anymore. But it wouldn't take anything if you want to get one of those indoor-outdoor um, digital weather things that you got this wire that you throw out your window and it tells you how hot or cold it is outside. You can just take it and just tape it to the wire or tape it, to, yeah, tape it to the tube and it'll tell you the temperature of your hydraulic fluid. 
That's the quickest, easiest way to do it if you don't know. And I know this motor gets pretty hot. I really put it through its paces. And it's 13 years old, and things are probably going to start leaking on it. Someday I may have to pull this out, you know. I might have to pull the engine out. That'd be a winter job. And then uh, separate the bottom plate and see what's leaking oil. But, I don't know. A new, a whole new engine is like 1300 So, I don't need an engine. So, that's going to be my next step for me. Um, I bought the kit. And I put it on one of my credit cards. Is it going to go through or not? <laughs> I'll find out soon enough if it's going to clear or not. So, there's going to be another radiator on here. It's going to look like a damn radiator factory, but it's a rather big one. But, yeah, if it keeps the engine cooler, then it's well worth it. So, um, that's going to be about it. I mean, there's a cheap way of how to keep your engine oil cooler because everybody knows heat kills everything, you know? If your engine gets hot, damage starts happening. If your hydraulics get hot, damage starts happening. You don't want that. I changed my oil religiously on this. and uh, But I know the damn thing gets hot. So by putting an extra oil cooler on, yeah, that's the way to go. So I'm just going to have to figure out a place where to mount a 15-inch um, radiator. Because I don't want to interfere in the blowing heat towards this one. Which way does this blow? Oh, so this blows backwards. All right. All right, so these are sucking the air through. Geez, I could put it right behind this one. Because this is sucking the heat this way, which this doesn't get that hot. And that would help cool this off because the radiator comes with a fan. No kidding. So I could just mount it right here. And that would block the vision of this. But And have dual coolers on it. People are going to think I'm nuts. Like, what's all that shit on your lawnmower? You know, well, lawnmower's 100 years old. This is why it's still running. But anyhow... That's it. That is my, uh, you know, what I'm going to do to this, to let it run cooler. Because I know it runs it runs pretty warm. The oil gets pretty hot. So I'm going to take care of that issue. And that's it. Um, I like to take this outside now and plug it into my trailer and show you how the lights work. But it's almost midnight and... People be going, hey, oh. you're my neighbor. He's getting up at three in the morning to go fishing. So, anyhow, that's going to be my latest job I got coming to do for myself. And I got a hold of an old friend that he's got a tow dolly and he needs some welding done to it. So, that'll be coming up. Later on, whenever he gets done, after the 4th, that's right, after the 4th of July, because he's got to use it. But I guess something with the landing pads, when you drive up, something's rotted off. Or I don't know what the hell he's saying, but, yep. Ooh, it's dark and spooky in here. Come on, puppy. So, he's under my car. Get up from under the car. Junior, yeah, get out of there. So this is what my garage looks like at night. You know, it's it's kind of lit in different spots, but there's just strategic lights that gives me enough view that I can see with the camera. It looks like daytime in here right now. From in, in the house, it looks like it's daytime. Anyhow, here comes the pictures of the kit. And if you wanted to do an oil filter relocation... This is the kit to use for your lawnmower, and that's it. You can go to the JEGS website, put that number in, and look at the specs, because down below the picture, it's all the specs tells you 
what it comes with. And I almost bought the wrong one. And uh, this kit comes with two adapters to screw in. So, yeah, yeah it's pretty, uh, pretty damn cool. So, that's going to be nice. And I can't remember if you have to use a PH8A filter, which is usually like a Ford Van filter, or if you can use your basic little tiny baby filter. I'll have to figure that out when it shows up, if my credit card works. And then I'll have to buy the radiator later because I don't have the money for it now. But I really don't have the money to buy the other one, so I'm actually using my bank credit card that's already past the limit, but I'm going to see if they're going to let the $60 slide through or they're going to reject it. So we'll see what happens, you know. So anyways, that's the kit, and it'll be soon mounted onto my lawnmower, and my lawnmower will start to look like Frankenstein in no time at all. Because the next thing I want to do with it is I want to put a couple raised up bars in the back like this to set my leaf blower on and my weed whacker, which is hanging right over here. So the leaf, my, my weed eater, it shrinks down. You undo this lock and it slides out because it's electric. But to carry that with me, that won't take up much space. But... And that won't take up much space either, my little baby one. But the battery seems to be running out pretty quick. Anyhow, I'm done babbling. Here comes the pictures I'm talking about. Have a good night, and I'll catch you later. And like everybody and their brother always freaking says, like, share, and subscribe. I'd appreciate it. And I will catch you later. Have a good one.